This week on Adventures with Peps, we are doing a quick and dirty paint scheme on a Warlord Games Judge Dread fatty, and here he is in all his primed glory. He is what they call in the comics a prime porker. He's got his hot dog and some buns in his tray. He's got one in his hands. There's possibly a sausage roll in hand, I'm not entirely sure. He also looks a bit like Donald Trump. There you go, I've said it. This is the second fatty that I've painted that looks like Trump. I don't know if that's on purpose. Right, we're going to kick things off with Gravelord Grey. We're going to use that on his belly wheel, his tires, his undercarriage. Just apply an arm thick. This lightens up quite a bit once dry. So there's no issue with just slapping it on. As you can see, I actually failed to miss the primer on the base. Stupid mistake, but I am actually intrigued to see how the contrast paint will go on over straight up resin. I've not tested it out yet, so this is either going to end terribly and we'll come back, or you won't ever actually see this stage at all, or it will work wonderfully and it will stay in the video and all will be good in the world. If it's staying in the video, you know it's doing well. So, Let's uh, skip on ahead whilst I finish cleaning this up and hopefully we'll have stage one done. Stage one is now complete. We move on to hardened leather. We are just using this on his boots. He doesn't have a lot that needs to be dark brown, but he does have a little pair of booties. So we're going to capture them. My idea for this model is to paint everything from probably the waist down so that I can then stick them on a base and make my life a lot easier with the painting. So I'm just going to catch his boots and we'll move on. So with his boots done, we're also going to pick out his little feeding tray slash food trough. I'm not entirely sure what it is. It's just holding his hot dog and his snacks. He looks pretty cute. The one thing I am going to say about these sculpts, his lines on his top that he has, it's hard to know if they're meant to go into the box or not. I assume they not, I assume they're not meant to, but as you can see they do. So I'm also not sure if it's actually part of the box design. So I'm leaving it there. I don't want to mess around with it too much. I'm also going to pick out the hot dog, as you can see. And then these annoying straps. Now for the final stage of his bottom half, we use an absolution green. It's a nice dark green. I think it will look well on his pants. I'm going for like a yellow green mix for this outfit. So we are just going to slap this on all over his belly, his legs. Hopefully this will pick up the shadow quite nicely. It's why I picked it. I'm still not 100% sold on this green. I can see why it's going to be popular. If you're a Dark Angel player, 100%. Jungle scheme. Uh, probably the US Army and bolt action would be great with this green. Judge Dread. I'm not entirely sure if it's fitting in. But we're going to run with it. Hopefully it goes well. We'll see in a minute, I guess. And with the final few slaps of paint, we have a based model. He's stuck down now. He's got his green. We're going to use Zealot Yellow on his top. He has a lot of top. These guys are big. Now, the idea of using yellow is that between the three fatties, I'm going to have yellow on all of them. That's going to be kind of their color scheme to blend them all together. My first guy was a red top, yellow trousers, green belt. This one's obviously yellow top, green trousers. It's a pretty long stage because he. this is the biggest part of the model right here. And the issue you have is that he has texture on his arm and his chest. And obviously he has texture where he's got his rolls of flap. But the rest of it is very smooth. This contrast paint hates smooth. I'm calling it contrast. The speed, um, the army speed painter paint 
hates smooth surfaces. So as, as you can see, I'm getting streaks, I'm getting bubbles. Ugh, it's annoying me, but we're getting it in. We're getting it in. Okay, we're about halfway through. We got the big blocks of color in. I'm not 100% sold on the yellow top yet, but we'll see how it dries up fully before I make that final call. I need to let it dry, so we're gonna move on to runic gray. There's not a lot that is needed for this one. He doesn't really have a lot of metallic. He's got the meat cleaver that I gave him, but that's about it. So this is gonna be a real quick step. Now it's time for a little pop of color, magic blue on the baseball cap. I contemplated using red to keep it within that tricolor scheme of the first one, but at the same time, it, I'm using a lot of red. I got the Blood Pack Gang that's predominantly red. The other fatty has a red shirt. So I thought blue would pop. If he gets some fatty supporters at some point, I'll make them blue as well. So you know they're his supporters and it could be his little, his little pop of color. Now to start picking out the food. This was a hard choice because I'm gonna use Crusader Flesh. So it needs to be darker than that, but not as dark as the dark wood. So I went with Sand Golem from the Army Painter Kit. I'm hoping it's going to give it like a cooked bread. <laughs> cooked bread. Is that a thing? Baked bread. <laughs> Look about it. Slash pastries. So the sausage roll's got it. I'm putting it on the hot dog and I'm worried it's blending too much. It's a very similar colour. It's going to be hard to stand out, but... I don't know, with his yellow top as well. I've probably picked the wrong color palette here. But we're just gonna run with it now. I've committed. But I think he looks good. He is a fun model. I definitely want to get some more fatties from Warlord Games. Then we have the simple, straightforward Crusader skin step. You know it, you love it. Just slap it on the hands, the face, and we'll call it a day there. With the army painter pretty much dry now, Apart from in the really deep recesses, I decided to pick out the lines on his top with a black paint. I thought this would look cool in my head. I'm not 100% sold on it. I like it, but I also hate it. I, uh, I just don't know. Maybe I should have gone dark grey rather than straight up black. Also, painting thin lines is... How annoying is that? Warlord Games, why did you do this to us? There was no reason to do this to us. You just like to drive me crazy, I think. I think that's all it is. Anyway, come back and see the results in a second. Okay, we have pretty much a tabletop ready model, but I need to seal this all in with it being army paint. So I'm slapping on a dark wash. It's a dark brown. I thought it would make him look a bit dirty. I'm gonna try and avoid his hands and face and the food areas. I want them to be a bit more vibrant. I'm also going to avoid his hat, because that is a real pop of colour. I'm hoping that if I use it on his upper body, it'll mesh the colour a bit better, because it's looking very blotchy. The yellow was definitely the wrong call on this model. It didn't enjoy the flat surfaces that this, this tubby is covered in. But I'm hoping... As I'm putting this on, I'm a little worried, but I'm hoping this will darken it down and give it a more consistent color across the entire model. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm not going to lie, at this stage, I feel like I've messed up the model with the wash. He's looking very dirty. I've got to bring it back somehow. Um, so I've gone to Avalon Sunset from the Citadel range. We're going to just try and bring this back. Plan is to hit the big flat areas. We'll leave the, the shade in. We'll try our best to bring this back. <laughs> I'm just, oh, I don't know. I've reached the stage here where I don't know how to fix the model. I'm applying some thin coats. I'm starting to see some light at the end of the tunnel. Just... A bit annoyed. My initial idea is not coming into play. And you know it just frustrates you now and again. 
but I'm pushing through. I should be able to fix this. We'll see at the end, I guess. Okay, here we go. The first fin coat is on. He's looking a lot better now. Annoyingly, there's... You know how it is with yellows. They go a bit green if it's dark underneath. He may need another coat. We'll see how it goes. But, whilst I'm finishing this up, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm definitely buying another fatty kit. I need more of these guys in my life. And... Hopefully I'll have a finished model that looks a little bit like this one. But as always, I appreciate you stopping by. Give me some hints of how I should have done it. I don't know. I feel like I want to go in and give him checks, but that may blow up my head. So enjoy this video of the finished model, and I'll see you next time. Cheers for watching.